Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Thanks for stopping by. All right, Charlie, let's get to work. Right there. Find the area and the perimeter of the figure below. First, let's find the perimeter. Remember, the perimeter is the sum of all the side lengths. Now, let's add up our side lengths in any order. We'll go this way. 16 inches plus 12 inches plus 11 inches plus 13 inches. And when you add all those up, what'd you get, Charlie? 52. 52 inches, very nice. Don't forget to put your units and always circle or box your answer. All right, Charlie, now let's find the area. Don't get scared. Okay, so here we go. First, let's emphasize that this bottom length is 16 inches. And let's draw a perpendicular down right there, forming a rectangle and a right triangle. Now, what we're gonna do here is find the area of the rectangle and then find the area of the right triangle and add those two areas together to get the total area of our figure. Okay, Charlie, now, we have 11 inches up there. That means that's 11 inches right there. And now we have to find the missing side length, which is the length of the base of our right triangle. Now, if that's 16 inches and that's 11 inches, what's the missing side length, Charlie? Five inches. Five inches, that's right, because 11 inches plus five inches is 16 inches. Now, we need to find the height of our right triangle. Well, that's equal to that side length of the rectangle. So the height of our right triangle is 12 inches. So let's find the area of the rectangle first. Area of a rectangle is length times width. So our rectangle is 11 inches by 12 inches. What's 11 times 12, Charlie? 132. That's right. So our area is 132 inches squared. Now, this is the area for the rectangle. Remember, the units for area, in this case, is inches squared because area is two dimensions. All right, Charlie, now, for our right triangle, the area of a triangle is one half base times height, and we have one half, our base is five inches, our height is 12 inches, and therefore, to calculate one half times five times 12, we'll first multiply five times 12, which is 60, and one half times 60, or a half of 60 is 30. Don't forget our units is 30 inches squared. Remember, area is two dimensions. All right, Charlie, now to find our total area, we add up our two individual areas, and what'd you get, Charlie? 162. That's right, very nice. We'll see you all again soon.